I'm at this cute museum in Brooklyn and it's called the Hall of Magic and there's these cute little snapchat glasses that you pair on the side and you sync it well you yeah you bluetooth it and sync it to your snapchat account and you could take snapchat videos as you walk through the museum and upload this is cool and it's really cute they really transform this and they have like they have different types of little cute things So now I'm in this room of books. I didn't read the outside to see what's the exact name of it. But there's like books floating in the air. And then there's books all over. And I was an English major, so I'm looking on the walls to see if I know any of these books on the wall. Son of the Morning Sun and Star, The Unconquerable World. Stately Homes, Concussion Mercy, The Mail Machine, Now or Never, Blood Wedding, mm. Prisoners on the Move. I don't know if there is any meaning behind any of these books. The Rights of Women. Myself, my bestie didn't come, and everybody's with their freaking bestie taking cute pictures. And I have to like ask people, Hey, can you take a picture of me? I don't want to be annoying. This is one of the guys, he, yeah, he took one of my pictures in the front. I don't want to be like a nooses, like, Hey, you want to be my, you want to be my personal photographer for today? I don't know, it's not as fun when you're by yourself. Now we're in um, the room called potions. So I guess it's gonna teach you how to make some crazy potions. They have different types of plants and seeds and leaves. Okay. <laughs> It's like big fortune colors and stuff. This lighting is really cute. And they have that cute little scenery. Yeah, this is really good. This is cute. I like this. Oh, now I'm in something called the forest. It's all foggy and they have like 
One thing I won't do work on a Sunday or a Saturday, don't do weekends. But it was fun. I really wish my best you came because it was um, a little difficult to like ask people that's with their friends um, to take pictures of you. But I lucked up, God is good, and um, I met Miriam, and Miriam was by herself because her best friend overslept so it worked out great so it wasn't so bad and that's great so now I guess I'll go get something to eat I'm hungry um I don't know what I'm gonna eat oh, I don't know if I'm just gonna go home because I want your no, I want Chick-fil-A later. So, I don't think I'm going to eat out now. It's too much, you know. I'm gaining weight. So, um, I didn't exercise today. So, I think I'll... Damn, if I go home and exercise, that means I have to wash my makeup off. Hmm. 
yeah so when i put in when i turned on the car it connected to the car so it turned off my um camera because i'm vlogging on my iphone and not my camera i wanted my best to be here so that i can use my fancy camera but i don't want to like have my fancy camera with like strangers they're looking at me like bitch i don't know how to use stuff so i'm using my iphone simple but um, like I was saying, if I go home and work out, then that means I'm gonna have to wash my face and I have to go dress shopping for my bestie wedding. She's getting married in September, so I'm a bridesmaid and I have to get a dress. And I think this is cute makeup for dressing. Right? Usually I put on like a short wig because everybody has long hair and it's straight or it's curly. But I'm the only one that comes in with the short hair so they can see that neckline. They can see that shoulder. They can see, they can see the collarbone. Like, ooh, yeah, that dress is up. I don't know. I really like short hair. Like, especially for, like, elegant settings. I like short hair. Short hair just looks real polished and sophisticated. And I just think short hair is... It just makes me sexy. Like, I just feel so sexy when I have short hair. Like, I don't know. When I'm natural, when it's straight, I just feel like I'm young. I just look like, wow. I don't know. But, today was a success. It was cool. No complaints. But I'm starving, so I'm going to go find food. Later. I have a headache. My head really, really, really hurts, but. I have to go to this this um I gotta go dress shopping for the for the wedding my head really 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 hurts I don't take medication I don't take Advil or nothing so I think I'm just gonna get tea and um drive out there wasting time <gasps> I want to be fun I want to have energy when I'm around the girls I don't want to be like oh girls are sick and I'm going to change my outfit because I have to wear the t-shirts I think I'll put on tights tights and a tank top tights and a tank top would do and some sneakers that I can just put on and off. It's kind of too hot today for Ugg. Oh. I need my nails done. They're chipping. I'll make an appointment. I'll make an appointment for that another week. Okay. See y'all when I am at Nordstrom's looking all cute. So now I am at the mall. I'm meeting them up at Macy's now because they went to Nordstrom and they said that it wasn't anything good there. So now I'm meeting them at Macy's and we'll see what they're fine if we find anything. I don't know. They tried on like 500,000 dresses. They didn't like anything. It's because they're picky girls. You look like this, anything fits. Like, you just want something that's gonna complement the bride's dress. It's really not about you. I mean, as long as your tits are not spilling out and you're not looking stuffed like a stuffed sausage, then it doesn't really matter. Like, it shouldn't be that hard. Like, we should go to two or three dress stores and bam that's it got it we cannot be trying on 500,000 dresses so I don't know I'm gonna sip my tea Macy's just looks so junky to me it doesn't matter where you at it doesn't matter which Macy's it is it's just junky okay It's like they put too much stuff on the hangers. 
It's just crowded. And that's what's not cute. This is going up. Nope. This is going down. I mean, they have cute stuff, but you get lost, you get overwhelmed. It's like shopping at Forever 21. Like, nobody got time for that. That's why people shop online because nobody has time to be fighting, going through the hustle and bustle. People be hiding stuff on <laughs> different rides, putting in different locations. Mad petty. Okay. Yeah. Okay, found them. So right now I'm at this place called Mocha. It's in Long Island. Um, I'm here to get some sushi, California rolls, and shrimp tempura. Um, I'm not drinking because I don't want to drink it too hard. But um, we did attempt to go dress shopping. Um, I know you like where's it? Where's that footage? But we didn't try any dresses because Nordstrom didn't have anything. Macy's was trash. Bloomingdale's had a lot of options, but they didn't have a bridal um, section. They just had um, formal gowns, and it was like really nice. And then they didn't have our colors, so it doesn't make sense to try on dresses if it doesn't even come in navy. But um, she decided. Well, we collectively decided that um, one of the dresses that they tried on previously that we liked, so we're just gonna move forward with that. But the bride isn't really sold. She, I don't, she, doesn't, she doesn't love the dress, so we have to go shopping again. Um, I told uh, a few other places that we should go, so we should like, you know, all be there. I think it's like five of us. So, um, you know, we should all be together and just knock out trying on dresses. Like, I'm not a picky person. Um, it's because, like, my silhouette, my body type is like anything but strapless, one strap, anything. And, um, you know, I, I could work a dress, you know, I could make anything look good. But, um, you know, like when, you know, when it's your wedding, I, and I totally understand when it's your wedding, you have like a vision in your mind um, of how you want the pictures to be, how you want your girls to look. So, I don't think she's sold on that vision. But the dress is really, really nice. It's like off the shoulder. It's form fitting. It's like Barbie style. Um, and it looks good on everybody. Even the, the busty, the busty women. It's gonna look good on the flat chest of women too. So, I don't know, I like it. I think the dress is cute. I didn't try it on. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna look good on everybody. And it's like in a city, so. I want to go try it on, I could just go try it on, but um, I'm going to wait until she decides for a, a final date so that we can all get together and try on these dresses and um, start, start um, I guess, like, check something off the list, right? She gets mad in September. So, we still don't have a dress. She has her dress though. Stuff. But it's so cool. I don't have any problems with that. I um, just waited to find my lovely man, but I just can't find single men. I don't know. Don't know where they are. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know when I will find them. But I may know what type of ring I like. What type of ring I want. I don't know. I know that God will bless me. And I'll have a nice little wedding. I want to have a wedding in Paris. Like 30 people. I don't need a lot of people. I don't need 15. I don't need 100 people. I just need 30 people. If it's less than that, I don't care. And that's it. And everybody's wearing lace. I like lace. That would be really sexy. Oh my god. And the bridal shower. It's going to be so dope. So everybody just looking expensive, dripping swag, ooh, just looking mm, official. Um, but that's that. I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I need to plan my life so I can be productive. I need to apply to some jobs. I need to apply to law school this week. Um, maybe Wednesday. Oh my god, 
my three of my nails broke. I think it's because it's not gel. I don't know. I think I'm, I need gel because I cannot be having chipped nails. They're just chipping and breaking. My nails are not that strong. This is crazy. Like week two. It's going on week two and it's just not looking good. That's what you get. That's what I get trying to be cheap. I'm like, oh, I don't want to do gel. I want to do regular now. But then I got designs anyway. So I didn't save a lot of money. I didn't, I didn't save a fucking dollar. I mean, I guess it would have been more expensive had I did that. But my bill was the same. My bill is always damn that eighty dollars for a pedicure and manicure. Um, I go to the spot in Best Time, the nail boutique. And they're really really nice and they're black owned, so I like to support my black businesses, especially my black independent women. Um, I mean, I just can't be going to mingling no more. Like, no offense to the Asians, like I go up with y'all, but I mean, I like the girl talk at the nail salon. I like the tea. I love the shade, the laughs. Like, I'm like you just, you just want to go, and you're excited to go, and it's just a good, it's just a good feeling. It's a good environment, knowing what the hell your mani your manicure is, is um saying to you. Like, you don't know what the hell Mingli be talking about. And Mingli just be like, hurry up and pay, pick a color, pick a color, hurry up and pay. Like, you know, you're on your cell phone to go to your bestie, you on Instagram, you on the internet, you listening to music. But when you go to, like, you know, a black owned establishment, the music is always bumping, you're engaged in conversation with the other customers and the, um, and the staff, and it's just great. It's just great. And even the owner, she be coming around and chit chatting with you, so it's like, listen, we all, we all homegirls telling stories about life and shit. And it's cool, it's like empowering. Like, I like it. Um, I wouldn't go back and I'll pay an extra $10 for services. I think that's my food, so I'm gonna end this. Later today has been a very long, eventful day, and I'm tired. I just want to eat and take a shower and eat the bed. Oh yeah, I have to work out. Yeah, I'm getting fat again. So I don't want to say fat. I'm not gonna say fat. I take that back. I apologize. I am getting bigger in my midsection, and certain pants don't fit. And I don't have that small snatch. It's defined, but it's not as defined. I like a little pouch. And um, I want to be beach ready all the time. It's like when baby like, oh, pack up. I'm, I'm bikini ready. There's no reason why I'm not bikini ready when the flights are booked. So... I'm walking to the emergency room because my godson, he um, hurt his hand at school and um, he might need surgery, they're saying. So I'm heading to see what's up with little man and I was in the wrong freaking section of the hospital. You know, he's a kid so they got a pediatric um, section and I could have freaking drove. But whatever, I just walked. It wasn't that far of a walk. So, hope he feels good. I know he's hungry. So we'll probably go out to eat. Um, I hope he's really not in pain. I don't want him crying and stuff. But he, he's pretty tough. I don't think he'll be crying. I just want to sleep, eat and sleep. I remember when I was young, I freaking, um, how many stitches? I think I got like 20, 22 stitches. I don't know if you can see it. I had 22 stitches because I was pretending to be playing, well, to, pretending to be singing on the piano. On the glass table 
and um, I fell. I fell right through the glass table and I had to get stitches. So that was crazy. Love it. I'm going in. So I'm still not at the right location. Um, yeah, so like I was telling y'all, my 22 stitches. My battle wounds. <laughs> Cause I was a little bad kid, touching stuff. Wanted to do the most. And it was during Christmas too. My mom was going Christmas shopping. She left my sisters to babysit me. Um, I don't know what they was doing, but um, you know, I was playing by myself, having a good old time. So we're in the hospital, and he is feeling way better. Um, he has TV, he has his computer, making web warriors. What is that? It's like Spider-Man. Okay. So he's good. So right now we're waiting for the surgeon. And then after the surgeon comes, then he can go home and eat. And um, take medication and just rest up and um, get better. So we're just chilling out in the hospital. It's not bad. I like how you're by yourself too. I like how there's nobody else in the room, right? Can you imagine another crying kid? That would be so annoying. Oh, you're doing Spider-Man. Oh, cool. I like it. That's cool. Got a mommy duties. Vlog time. So, I'm at my bestie Rachel's house. That's the bestie who didn't make it to the Hall <laughs> of Magic. Who she invited me? Okay, I didn't know. I didn't know anything about this hall of magic. I was, you know, flat on in my hair at twelve o'clock at night, minding my business. She comes. Oh, we gotta go. You know, tomorrow's the last day, Rose. I already booked tickets, so that's it. So I'm like, okay, what time is the ticket? She's like ten twenty. Okay, great, ten twenty. Hmm, I gotta go to church. After church, I'll go. I will pick you up. Okay, so. I didn't go to bed till like 2 o'clock um, in the morning. So I was really, really tired. So I woke up at 7 o'clock. I was supposed to wake up at 6 o'clock, right? But I ended up waking at 7 o'clock. So I couldn't make it to church. So I had to stream. So I streamed my church service. Got the Lord all up in me. Got the word. And then I got ready. Put on a full face of makeup. Y'all saw me. I was beat, okay? Like, I don't know what to wear because she was talking about wearing a dress and shit. And, like, I really didn't want to wake up. So, that's why I could only do... That's why I did the, the, the dramatic makeup because I knew that my outfit was just going to be really, really regular. So, I get to this bitch house and she's like, oh, I didn't know you was going to come. When I sent her a text, like, I'm going to pick you up at 9.30. I, when I had texted you in the morning, you never replied. I thought you overslept and wasn't coming. So did you not get my text when I said I would pick you up at 9.30? That was it in the morning. Yes, it was. Oh, I never got that text. Oh, now she never got the text. I'm... But right after I sent her the text, she sent me eyeballs. So I'm confused. No, see, I, I dead ass never because... got that. Because... Look. Okay, boo, that was last night. That's the last text I got. And then I sent eyeballs at 8.45. You know, I would have got ready mad quick. I really didn't get that. Text. I was like, shit, she overslept. Now her, I don't know, she probably deleted it. She's mad shady. <laughs> I can't, I, I can't trust her. I can't, I can't trust her. <laughs> I can't, I can't trust her. <laughs> She's over here showing me. She's over here showing me fraudulent conversations between us. <laughs> She's showing me fraudulent conversations between us. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. So, anyway, I had to go to the fucking museum by myself. And it's not like an art exhibit where you're just looking at nice, you know, 
pictures on the wall. No, these are interactive activities where that you need a second person for it to be fun, for you to see the magic. I had no magic. I was magicless because I didn't have my best fucking friend there. So I had, but luckily I met this fucking great girl. So the meaning, the reason why I started this vlog right now is because I was showing her the pictures of um, what was going down in there. And I was like, yeah, you know, when she was there, what, what, what was my quote that <laughs> I keep saying? No. Oh, had you been there, <laughs> right? So I'm like, yeah, had you been there? Had you been there? So I was like, you know, this particular um, activity would have been really great had I had Boomerang. And she's like, you have Boomerang. It's free. It's on the Instagram. So I'm like, no, it's not because they tell you that you have to download the app because that's what I was trying to do. And I didn't really feel like doing it because they didn't have good service in there. So I was just like, whatever, fuck it, whatever. I'll just take pictures. So then she's over here giving me a fucking Instagram tutorial. And and it's really simple. Really, really simple. And I'm just like, mm, had you been there, bitch, I would have had my boomerang. And my Instagram could have been lit. But no. Bitches want to have fraudulent conversations <laughs> and show me fraudulent proof. <laughs> And, you know, I'm just fucked everywhere because no, I really got up and got beat for her. Like, Bruh, I, did I got dressed up for her. I could have still been in bed. I did not get that message. I don't even like magic. <laughs> and it wasn't even fucking magic, okay? But it was cute. But it was it was definitely an experience. It was definitely a different experience. Mm-hmm. <laughs>